Hello, I am Christy Duncan, and I'm delighted to be chatting today with Montserrat Garrido, who is Latin America Public Sector Sales Head at City, based in Miami. Welcome, Montserrat. Thank you, Christy. I am so excited to be here with you here today. Perhaps you could start with a couple of words of introduction. Sure. Um, I am Montserrat Garrido, like you mentioned, and I am responsible for sales of transactional services, what we call TPS, Pressure and Trade Solutions at City for public sector clients operating in Latin America. This includes government, state-owned companies, development organizations, and multilaterals that operate in the region. I've been uh, at City for 23 years in five different countries, primarily in sales and marketing roles. For those in our audience who might be new to Micro and Six, we're going to start with some rapid-fire questions, just looking for one-word answers, and then we'll have six more detailed questions. So are you ready? Ready. Who or what inspires you? Working mothers. And do you attribute your success to luck or hard work? Hard work. What drives you? Desire to make impact. Favorite quote or motto that you live by? Life is a journey. And when applying for a new opportunity, what percent of required attributes do you feel you need to be confident in your application? 60%. Coolest payments company today? City Mobile. Thank you, Montserrat. Now that we know a bit more about you, let's move on to the more in-depth questions about your career journey. What has been your biggest career challenge as you climb the ladder in the payments industry? Well, Christia, I don't see my career uh, in the payments industry as a ladder I had to climb. It has truly been a, a journey in all senses of the word. I have been in, in roles in account management, in sales, in marketing, and some of the movements I have made have not been upwards, but sideways in order to experience something different, challenge myself, and grow a new set of skills. What do you feel has been your greatest accomplishment in your career so far? Well, I'm very grateful to um, having worked and working for an organization that has supported really my career and has given me the opportunity to live, to work, and to experience three continents with a young family. So growing in my career in five very different countries like the UK, Germany, Spain, China, and the U.S. has really given me a unique perspective into the payments industry with a global lens. And as a mother of three young women, uh, they have always really been my, my number one priority and the most important project in my life. And we have really a very egalitarian household, and my husband and I have always shared house duties and, and the work around the house. So I believe that having a career and a family are not conflicting goals. If there's one thing you could have done differently, what would that have been? I think I would have liked to do more volunteer work throughout my career. I am passionate about women development and giving my time to this cause is always on my list. So mentoring young women or supporting our city women network, participating in some activities of junior achievement or fundraising for women, women education initiatives. But I always feel that it is never enough. How important have networks and connections been as you build your career in this industry? Crucial. I, f I feel very fortunate to have developed my career in one of the most global payments organizations and one that really attracts tremendous, uh, tremendous talent. CP and specifically the payments business, CPS comes with the most brilliant minds in the industry, top professionals, very driven people, who at the same time have been very generous colleagues and have provided me with a vision and a support network. And, and for me, being connected with my colleagues has been really the conduit to learn and to grow. And I think that the payments business is intrinsically a network business. So a standalone individual, even if very brilliant, without a strong network and connections, will never be able to be successful. As a senior female leader in this industry, how have you helped shape the culture of your current business at City? I try to remind myself and my colleagues of the deeper purpose of what we do, which ultimately is to enable economic growth and development for the clients we serve and their constituents, their stakeholders. So in my interactions across the organization, I try to instill that can-do attitude in the projects that I lead and find a way to remove obstacles to find solutions to the challenges that we, that we face. And, you know, in the last year, specifically in the banking sector of the payments industry, 
the increase of regulations, risk management, controls, processes that we have to comply with have made our job uh, of bringing new solutions to the market a more difficult and challenging one. But precisely, I think that these embedded requirements are allowing us to provide very robust and solid solutions to the mo most complex organizations. Fantastic. It's been a great discussion. And I'm sorry we can't continue, but I have one last question. And that is, what advice would you give to the aspiring women professionals in the payments industry? I would advise them to think long term, but live fully in the present. There's no such a thing as the perfect job and the per perfect moment to take risks, whether personal or professional. So one really needs to do an ongoing reading of the circumstances, the environment we live on, contrast ideas and plans with a few trusted mentors and the support network, and then make, make decisions. And I would suggest also to try to pay it forward to the extent that you can be a connector because there is no room for isolated players in this industry. Nobody can succeed alone. Yeah. And my last piece of advice would be to try to make a difference in whatever you do. Think of your deeper purpose and share it with your colleagues. And I think when we find and define our purpose, we play an active role in shaping the future and live a more fulfilled life. On that very inspiring note, thank you so much, Monse, for sharing your career journey with us and your words of wisdom in building a career in this industry. It's my pleasure, Christy. Absolutely. I'm going to thank our audience as well for listening and encourage them to join us online for the many other episodes of My Career in Six, where we chat with inspirational women leaders from around the world of payments.